and I've had some very positive uh, responses. Um, uh, especially, uh, especially about your biceps and abs. Uh, what, what, is, what is your secret uh, to great biceps and great abs, especially yours? Great biceps, great abs. Um, probably when I was younger, I started training them uh, maybe two or three times a week. But that's when my body can handle it and your muscles are underdeveloped, so they will respond quickly. I actually respond to weight really, really well. Um, and now my secret is, because it's such a small body part, you don't need to train them that much. I see in the gym, actually, a lot of people training their biceps, triceps, and abs, because they're smaller. Um, they might be doing like four exercises for each part. That's way too much. They break it down. Do two. Keep it short, simple, intense, and get out. They overtrain. So what I do is I, you know, basically undertrain them because they get worked in uh, a lot of the other exercises too, like chest and back. So when you do train arms, train them good, hard, and keep it short, and you know, stick to two exercises per. That's my. That's the way how I do it. And do you care of uh, giving a little demonstration on how good a natural woman's arms can look like? How good my natural woman's arms? Um, sure. Whoa! Look at that peak, huh? Peak. Peak, peak. and it's like. This, this arm's better. <laughs> and it's super hard. I mean, look at this. Rock look at this. Hard. Rock hard. Like. Don't hurt yourself. Okay. <laughs> I think I pulled a shoulder. No. So, Johanna, uh, what is next for you? Um, lots of alcohol, chicken wings, pizza. No. <laughs> Mmm, um, pizza. That's, that's food. Can you tell where my, my, my thoughts are? No. Um, competition wise, I'm probably, I did the one show this year. I did three shows last year, maintained myself in condition for a year and a half, and my body's a little tired. Even though I qualify for the Worlds this fall, and there's other shows that um, people are really pushing me to do, I have to listen to my own gut instinct, and if I'm gonna come back hard and crazy mean next year. Um, my best interest right now is to relax for the rest of the year and concentrate on next year. So next year is going to be a, a good year. Yeah. Yes, and um, with all this training, it's really important to really get to know your body. I mean, for me, um, even though I'm not uh, a bodybuilder, well, at least I'm not in my bodybuilder body right now. You know, I have multiple bodies at home. In your off season. Yes, I'm in my off season. Okay, I got to do some serious popping up. But anyway, um, you know, general in general life, I mean, if you overwork yourself, you know, you're going to overtrain. Or sorry. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Well, yeah. As an analogy. Um, just overwork, overstress, you know, and, and over time, you know, you're going to get more tired, you know, a lot, uh, have a lot less energy, you know, we, we really don't want that. No, you don't. So that's why, you know, it's been a year and a half for me, speaking from my own experience, my body's like wanting a break. So even though I'd love to go and do some more shows, um, if I continue the way how I'm training without taking a, a break, because I train really hard and intense, like to get ready for a show, I do cardio three times a day, weight training twice a day. It's six hours a day to, for me to get ready for a show. Um, I'm that dedicated for a show. Right now, my body needs a rest, so I gotta give it rest. If I did the shows this spring or this, this fall, I might not be in the top condition that I wanna be in for next year. So I'm focusing on next year. All right, well, that's Joanna Dieger um, from the 2002 Natural Ontario Bodybuilding Championships. Joanna Dieger is not only last year's women's overall champion, but she is also the webmaster and graphics designer of her own website at www.joannadieger.com. So be sure you visit that site and uh, send Joanna an email, okay? Sounds good to me. And is there anything uh, that you want to say to your millions and millions of fans out there just before we go? Uh, keep on checking my website. Tell me what you like to see. Um, just keep it tasteful. Got to have some, you know, lines there. And uh, send me an email, you know? Yeah. All right. Well, thanks very much, Joanna. Thank you.